Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen a simple example regarding the watcher property. Now in the watcher property, we have seen, so this is the watcher method. And in this method, the first parameter it is taking is the source type. And the next one is the normal, the callback function. Fine. So the first parameter, let's try to analyze this first parameter. That is nothing but what we can say is watch source types. So the watch first argument can be different types of reactive sources. So you can have a ref that is nothing but a question, a ref or a computed ref or a reactive object or a getter function or an array of multiple sources. So here the first argument can be of different types. So let's try to have a simple example. Let's see we are having here two examples like constant x is equal to ref of 0. So I am having one variable x value and I am having another value constant y is equal to ref of 0. So I am having two variables. Now I want to watch the single ref so x value. So if I want to watch this x value what I can do watch I want to watch the x value. So when this value is changed new x new x value is changed. I will get the new x value and I will do console.log console.log value of x is dollar of new x this is the thing which I want to tell you now whenever the value of x is changed this console.log will be fine now here we will be having a simple what I will try to do here let's remove this one all yeah answer right so here i will be having a simple div and in this div i will be having the x value input type is equal to text and v hyphen model is equal to um, we can have the x right so here this is the x value now if you see the output for this one here we are having the x so whenever if i am trying to change the x value so we need to invoke this watcher property so there is where so x value is changing we need to print the new x value right. let's try to see so we are having zero so zero is the thing it has came so whenever i am trying to change it here the value of x is d so something like that so the new value of x we are able to fire the watcher property fine so it's okay and if i watch to if i want to watch the y value means then what i can do i can copy the same thing y and I can have new y, new y, and do like this new y. And here let's go into this one. And here I can have the y value, y value, and here we can have the y. Where if a model is equal to y. And if I refresh this page, now whenever I am trying to do here value of x and when I am trying to do okay so I have given here this one is also y right let's change it to y sorry x right so let's change it to y and whenever I am trying to change the y value so here y is firing and x value x is firing so nice now instead of passing passing this one like this you want to now this is doing one and the same one and the same thing only right so what I want to do is we can also pass the array of values okay array of sources also we can pass it so how can I pass this one array of multiple sources so what I can do is we can do different ways also first I will try to show you the another way so instead of writing like these two different things we can also have an array of multiple sources so like so it will take array I want to watch x and y and here it will return you the new x and new y as an array and you can do whatever you want here i can write console.log values of x and y is so here i can use dollar of new x new x and here we need to do the back tick yeah and new y it. so we are able to get the output now if i try to refresh this page and here i will be doing 
ux is not defined something like that we are able to get okay i have given the wrong thing yeah now i am able to get the output now here if i try to see the output i'm able to get so here see both the things are firing so that means instead of writing e for each reactive source the watcher we can use an array of multiple sources and we can pass the watcher property so this way is also is okay apart from this one so we can also the first argument we can also pass the getter function so getter function is also supported in this one for example let's i will try to comment out these all the things for simplicity sake so i am using here i want to pass the sum of value so for example here x dot value plus y dot value here this is a getter function okay so i am using some getter function so which returns say some value <coughs> okay which returns some value it's a getter thing it's not setting anything it's a getter thing so here i will get the sum and here i can use something like console dot log console dot log sum is sum value is dollar of sum i can use it like this that's it now if you try to see the output here and here i will be having 23 and here i will be having 34 so here you'll be able to see the sum value right so whenever i am trying to change either it x value or whether it's a y value so the getter function here don't think about the x value and y value the getter function so the function which returns something value getter value so depending on that value you'll be able to invoke the watcher thing so this is also another thing so I, we can also use it with a single ref we can also use the getter function and also we can use the array of thing and here what i can do is we can pass the we can in the array we can pass different values also here we are passing two ref sources right here you can pass one ref source and also another is a getter value so for example let's say that here i will be having a watch i will be passing here x value and here i can use something like y dot value here this is also a getter function only right so this one is a getter function it's reading the y something like this is nothing but y so like this so here i am using it like this now then also you can be able to see the same output so this output you will be able to see it so if i try to show the same output for this one control u yeah so the same output it will try to do it so i will comment out this one also okay now here i will be doing something like let's refresh this page yeah so far no errors so i am trying to add something like this see values of x and y is like this value of x and y is like this so we are able to see the same thing so here i am passing one is a ref value and another one is a getter function so we can use the multiple sources also multiple sources is also supported in this one so this is one thing so now we have understood about the ref thing now the another thing which i want to explain you is the reactive so we know <clears throat> so you want to understand so we need to understand one simple thing about the reactive object so the reactive object so we should not write it like this okay so we should write the reactive object in a different way i will try to show you in the next video so this is how we will be using the ref thing so in the ref when you are trying to use the ref things so different source types so here you can pass a single source value okay single ref value or otherwise you can use a getter function or otherwise you can pass array of ref values you can pass multiple things also here and you will be getting it as an array thing and also you can pass with a ref value and also a getter function so for a, if it is about the reactive properties means if you want to watch the reactive sources means i will try to tell you in the next video hope you understood about this watch source types if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.